I'm pleased to be able to introduce my report commissioned by IRW last summer because of its concerns at meeting the best standards of governance and effectiveness. As my inquiry ascertained, IRW is seen by its key stakeholders as a highly effective humanitarian charity. But this has been marred by the reputational problems generated by the behaviour of a few individuals who've been putting their personal opinions ahead of the need for IRW to fulfil its charitable purposes. In the report, I've been able to support and add to the work already being done to improve the uh, social media and vetting policies of IRW to ensure that there can be no repetition of last summer's events. I've also looked at IRW's future governance needs and made some recommendations about adding to the number of independent trustees so as to ensure uh, that IRW has complete familiarity at United Kingdom level with UK charity law requirement and regulations. I'm very grateful uh, to Sir Clive Jones, who's acted as my advisor and brought to bear his long experience of the charity sector to the inquiry's work. I'm also very grateful to all within the IR family who've given of their time and cooperated with me in helping uh, carry out this inquiry. I'm confident that if uh, the recommendations in this report are adopted and implemented, then IRW uh, will be sustained in the future in its vital humanitarian work.